Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be, drum roll please, an unboxing video. Yay! I'm excited. It's been like maybe a week since I did an unboxing and so with bated breath, I want to open this up and see what I've got. So you all have been watching a series of shopping vlogs that I have put out and I this has nothing to do with those. This is totally separate. I actually got away without buying a single item on those shopping trips, although I was sort of longingly thinking of a couple of them. I did manage to resist. I'm out of space, so unless I sell a couple things, I am I'm stuck for now. Unless, I guess, what I could do is I could move some of my shoes out of my closet and create another shelf. That may happen. It could be possible because I have some boots that I just literally never wear. Actually, I have a lot of booties and boots that I never wear because the shoes I wear are one, hey dudes, two, Uggs. Like, that's it. Unless I have to dress up and then I might wear a booty, but that's pretty unusual. So I know people, some people don't like it when others say, without further ado, but I like saying, without further ado. So... Without further ado, I'm going to unbox this beauty. And right from the get-go, you get to see who it's from. This is from 24S. I bought this item from 24S because they were the only ones that I could get a decent price on this bag. And watch, like, I'm kidding you not, within a week, this will be on sale somewhere else. In fact, one of my lovely subscribers told me that she saw it for $207 somewhere. And I said, but where? And she couldn't tell me. So when you buy something from 24S, you get this little pop-up book, which is sort of cool. Shows a Parisian restaurant with a cobblestone street. I'm digging it. Usually it's stuck to the box, but mine has come detached. I always select the Parisian packaging just because I enjoy it feeling like it's a present. Kind of toss the box over there and I'm going to pick the bag up here. So we've got 24S. Usually there's, I think, some tissue paper, but there isn't this time. One thing that's cool is even in the bottom of the shopping bag, there are areas in, in France that you can look at and enjoy. So I've got an American bag that came to me all the way from France for a price cheaper than I could get it here in the U.S. So let's unwrap this and see what we can see. I want to be really careful because I do know that 24S is particular about the price tag being attached. If you are considering or thinking about doing a return, which I am not thinking about that. But if there were something wrong with the bag, then I then I would think about that, of course. So let's go ahead and pull the wrapping off the straps. One area I always look out now is the straps because they can have issues. And this one, let me get my glasses out. This one's wrinkled up. I don't know, man. It's beautiful on this end. This end's not bad, but look how wrinkled that is. My other bags, none of them are like that. Of course, the back side is pretty fine. Yeah, it's really just the front. Maybe a little bit of leather conditioner would help with that. Let's look at the web strap. I love these bags for the gorgeous web straps they have. And in fact, I have the web strap that goes with this bag. Well, it doesn't go with this bag, it's ivory, but this one's chalk, so you can see. It's got a beautiful webbed strap in the chalk color. A year or two ago, Coach made the same strap in the ivory color. So you can see, it is identical, except for the end of the one that was sold separately, and I believe it was $95. It is definitely more substantial. That's also how you can, I think you can adjust it like that. I don't know why you would because the strap is so adjustable on its own, but it's a possibility. Let me go ahead and take my glasses off. I've got 
a reflection in them. I'm gonna put on the webbed strap if I can. Man, they have it hooked every which way. Like they're trying to make it hard for me to even try the bag on. I'm not trying to wear it 24S. I'm just trying to try it on. That's all. There's a ton of padding inside. And like I said, I'm trying to keep it all intact as much as possible in case I discover any other defects. So there is the inside of the bag. It's lined in a honey micro suede. It has the one slip pocket on this side. I don't tend to like to use the zipper. I just like to fold it over like that. I have noticed that these don't appear to be available on the coach website anymore. I did want to zip it up once and make sure there were no issues with the zipper, which there aren't. To me, I think you can just get the black on the website, if I remember correctly. And then, of course, the ivory jacquard, and that one's on sale. I can link both of those below. So here she is, and I am wearing different clothes than what I shopped in. My jeans shorts are longer and my shirt has no sleeves. It is the same color though. I tend to do that when I wear the same bag a couple days in a row. I'll wear a very similar color palette. So looking at this bag, this is the Coach Tally bag in chalk. I'm loving the strap. Of course, I could use this on my camera bag, although it is shorter than the camera bag strap. And I can also use this on my Cassie 19. If you want, I could try those on with those two bags, do a little show and tell. Well, I say that, but I can't because it's hooked on to this end, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it is. It's hooked on to that end. Looking the bag over, it is gorgeous. The smooth leather is perfect. There's no wrinkling anywhere except for that one little section of the strap, and it's the grommeted strap. As far as I can tell, the webbed strap or the cotton, whatever it's made out of strap, looks pretty perfect, except for this. You see that there? They've, over, they've gotten some glue that's darkened the edges right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right here and then along this edge right here. It doesn't look that great. This side is perfect. But then if you look at that side, it, it does not look very good. I think this one has to go back. I'm bummed out. I love it. I think I'm gonna do an exchange. The other thing I'm seeing, and this is so minor, I wouldn't have even pointed it out, but there's a bump. There's a bump right there. Can you see that? It's minor. I wouldn't have been worried about that, but I really don't like how these straps are. It's almost like they burnt the edges so it wouldn't fray, but it's already fraying. So I'm going to contact 24S and wrap this up to the best of my ability, and I will give you an update when I know what's going to happen, because I would like to get a replacement. Let me tell you what I paid. I got this for 15% off, and so that brought it from $3.95 down to, I think, around $3.35. And then I had like $27 and change in rewards that I got from purchasing, I believe, my Pillow Madison, the last one I purchased from them. And so that brought the bag down to $3.08. And then on top of that, I got cash back from Top Cash Back at 8%, and I got 5% back from using my Discover card on PayPal. So I ended up paying with all of those things if you subtract them out, and I realized some of them I won't get for just a little bit, but I think it was around 250 or 270. So it's a great deal, but I'm gonna contact them and just find out if maybe they can send me a different one since the strap, it, I mean, it just looks, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like it's burnt on the edges. And then, of course, I've got that wrinkling issue right there. There we go. Now it's showing it. Okay, well, that was super frustrating and a bummer. I did call 24s.com, and they do have people to talk to, which is fabulous. 
I could normally just do a return easily without even contacting them, I think. But I did want to let them know that there were a couple defects. And I'm going to insert a picture of what the strap looks like, or maybe a couple pictures here. And of course, that's the chalk strap with the grommets. And then I'm also going to insert a picture of the end of the strap of the canvas strap that's good, followed by the end of the canvas strap that's like kind of burnt or has glue residue on it. And I'll insert that here. And then lastly, I want to insert a picture of that bump on the flap piece, the, the magnet part. And I'll insert that here. Okay, so I would say if I didn't have the issue with the chalk strap, I would keep it, no problem. But I kind of worry that that's going to crack and I wanted to be able to use that strap with my chalk camera bag. So I am going to exchange it. So I will do another unboxing of the chalk tally where I will try it on with my Cassie 19 as well as my camera bag and play with straps and switch it up. But I didn't want to unhook anything from this because I know that 24S I don't think that they will accept a return. I guess I don't know, but I don't think they'll accept a return if the tag isn't attached. And the tag is woven in with both the straps, so I can't take them off. So I'm saying so, so, so. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you do not miss any exciting content such as this. Also, please go find me on Instagram. My name there is the same. It's the Handbag Housewife. If you don't like Instagram and want to get in touch, email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.